he said and his mom was selling in a competitive market yet they probably the mom sells where they have to put something on the ground probably mom mashed something the leg was swelling 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 before you know it the mom could not make it the mom had to you know the mom died so if you're having poor sales you know you don't have customers people are not always patronizing you they prefer to visit your neighbor to buy things something that you know that you have and it's not that probably your shop is not full because there's a lot of people that they are well stock everything is fine yet you do you you always notice that people are not always crossing your path people are not always trying to even patronize you then all you need to do is to do this particular remedy and come back with your testimony so before we continue on this amazing topic if today is your first time tuning in or seeing my face you are highly welcome please do whatever hitting on the red subscribe button so you can be part of our wonderful and amazing family to my highly 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 wonderful subscribers thanks for always tuning in i appreciate you so as i was saying why you are asked to always do a remedies on this on your shop because sometimes it's not that people don't want to buy something from you sometimes it might be as a result of jealousy envy you notice that you have been selling your shop suddenly you are not selling you can have a competitive of um, people that you sell things together with with people that they are that they are envious of you people that are envious that you are selling and then they are not selling or people that doesn't even want you to sell at all there's some people that are that they are like that they don't even want you to sell at all they want to be the only one selling so they might have gone to different places just to make block customers you know view from see in fact as you are there people are not even seeing your shop funny enough nobody's seeing your shop as people are coming straight up they are coming to those people they are not reaching your first so sometimes you have to do some spiritual work you know to clear your road so in case if your enemy is doing anything to you in order not to sell your way will keep opening in order to be receiving more customer in order to be shocking them in order to be selling like never before so without wasting too much time you just be needing two items on this amazing topic just get salt salt yes yes sea salt preferably but in case if you don't have sea salt you can use any other salt get salt then also try to get this perfume on the string this is um six flower perfume get these two items together all you do is that every morning every morning you add little salt little of the salt inside your mobbing bucket then you add little of um of the six flower perfume inside your mobbing bucket use it to mob your shop please remember to say your intentions remember to say your intentions remember to say your intention use it to mob your shop for people that will tell me that okay they cannot mob their shop their shop is not tight their shop is not this one probably is the sell on normal ground you can mix it and sprinkle it around wherever you sell something it's going to neutralize anything like i told you in my other video that i had someone that testified about um this sales booster remedy that i've done months back she said when she used the remedy the, the following morning when she came to her shop she saw a dead snake on her shop snake that definitely nobody knows the direction like there's no bush for for there to be snake like there's no traces for it for there to be a snake with some ants you know around it you now she said a lot of things that is the power of you you know doing spiritual work for your shop the fact that you have good mind does not mean other people have good mind towards you that's one thing you don't know the fact you say that okay i don't have anybody i don't i, I don't have any even intention towards anybody so anybody that is having even intention towards me is wasting his time let me tell you the good people now then they die past you see the good people they die quickly so don't take it easy with anybody that want to stop your progress in this life there's customers for everybody there's customers for me there's customer for you so whereby my own customers are even coming to you then there's a problem there is a problem always make sure you do your spiritual work especially when you're in a competitive place because you don't know who is who now like another scenario i have um one guy that usually come to us to come and like paint some um places in my house like this now what was his complaint he said and um, his mom was selling in a competitive market yet they probably the mom sells where they have to put something on the ground probably mom mashed something the leg was swelling 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 before you know it the mom could not make it the mom had to you know the mom died on the that is a painful way the your enemy can can go extra mind to do things just for you to to for you not to come so that 
if people are coming, they will know that they are the only person selling it. If they have every opportunity, they will clear everybody. So do not let them. If you are asked to do anything, please always take it serious. Do it and trust on God. Pray to God that whosoever that is doing you that you, you are not even aware of. Uh, in fact, uh, anything the person is doing to is going to backfire to the person, to his generation. Yes, so to his generation on both born and yet unborn. Yes, because anybody that wants to do you also want your downfall. So always pray if they are bringing the, the, the things back to you, send it back. Send it back. Don't ever take anything lightly, especially when you are in a competitive market where people are, especially where you are. It's not that you cannot do this um, if you are staying on the street, selling your market. But in case, if you are in a competitive market, always take spiritual work seriously. It gets why. It gets why. So that they will not take you on our way. So guys, we're actually done on today's video. On this channel, we share health and spiritual tips. So if you like what you just watched, please kindly hit on the red subscribe button so you can be part of our wonderful and amazing family. To my amazing subscribers, thanks for always tuning in. So I'll see you on my next video. I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Remain blessed.